in our culture, we don't really understand that um, menopause is a psychological process as well as a physical one. And there are three phases to this. There's the first is separation, which is like perimenopause. And in separation, it's a process of our defenses being stripped away. And it's typically pretty painful. Surrender comes and asks us to stand in the unknown. That's where we are accepting of what is happening. And we are asked to just be there and not know. And this is one of the reasons why menopause is a, a spiritual journey, a spi spiritual initiation, because it gives us this experience of not knowing. And we build our relationship with not knowing. And the third part is called emergence. And that's where we start to emerge tenderly back into the world. And after emergence, we come into second spring, where there's a whole new cycle. And these, these different phases happen independently of physical events. So you might be bleeding or you might not. You know, it's not anchored into the, your physical body. It's not anchored into your physical body. It can happen at any time. And although we have a nice sort of three phases path, it's not necessarily a linear path because we can jump around into these different phases from day to day and sometimes from hour to hour. So although perimenopause can go on for, for some years, you will also be experiencing elements of surrender and emergence and second spring in that. But probably if you look back over the time, you know, in 15 years time, if you look back over the, in retrospect, you would be able to see patterns of separation and patterns of surrender and patterns of emergence.